Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, March 29th, 2019. So the last trading day of this quarter, and well, we've got some bullishness going on this morning. Last night there was news that um, as the trade negotiations kind of came to an end, um, optimism of progress in those trade negotiations. Consequently, Asian markets were up across the board last night and European markets are looking higher this morning as well. As a result, U.S. futures are moving higher. And, and, and actually, it's it's interesting in the last hour, they've really been trying to pump them hard to the upside. So this morning, uh, as I speak right now, we're looking at a gap up of about 100 points in the Dow. And as you can see um, right here, that is about where uh, we're looking to open. We're going to open above the, all of this indecisiveness here in the chart. Unfortunately, we're still going to be below price resistance in this high right here. So um, as good as that is, as wonderful as that is, we want to be really careful about chasing a gap up into price resistance. As a matter of fact, that's exactly where we can catch those pop and drop patterns. Just kind of take a look over here when we gapped up into that resistance right here. And it happens to be the exact same resistance. We found sellers and we pushed it back down. Now I'm not suggesting we're gonna find sellers today. What I'm suggesting is you might wanna take a little bit of a caution note to that, watch the gap up, maybe look at some intraday charts and see whether or not buyers actually step up to, to uh, try and push us through those resistance levels or if the, we happen to see those bears to uh, come in to maybe push us back down. So watch that closely. Remember every day we've we've received that real choppiness where we push up and push back down because of concerns over global uh, growth. So watch that closely. Now, let's take a look at the pattern here in the diamonds. Diamonds, not a healthy pattern, um, at least at the moment. Right there, we're, we're building this wedge pattern and this morning we're gapping up into this upper area up here in that wedge perhaps perhaps the uh, the hopefulness of trade negotiations is going to be enough to inspire those bulls to deal with these resistance levels that's yet to be seen so be really really careful with that remember we had um progress apparently in the negotiations but there were no details about what what that is or even a timeline when we might hear something about a deal uh, being finalized. So kind of keep that in mind as um, you think about the risk uh, moving into the weekend. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY is in a better situation than the Dow. Um, having kind of held on to this level right across here, held on and and, and and stayed in here but let's keep in mind this morning's gap up we're looking at this gap up it's moving right up here toward this area breaking above these uh, last four days of kind of choppiness but keep in mind it is still opening well below these resistance highs so we'll want to think about that um, as we pop right into those resistance highs make sure you're planning carefully here in your trading you don't want to be chasing into um, a morning gap up right into the place where those bears happen to be um, ready to uh, to feast let's take a look at the queues I don't know if they're gonna be there to feast or not but um, I want to be careful of that um, let's take a look at uh, the Nasdaq here and you can see the Nasdaq is actually the strongest index of the market holding trend doing really really well and so far has held this level of support right here now this morning we're looking at a gap up in the market we're moving up a little bit higher in the nasdaq things are looking pretty decent there so i would say the nasdaq is one of the uh, markets that kind of has some clear sailing here at least um, at the moment if they can push on up and retest these resistance levels up here 
that would be just awesome and actually produce a pretty nice um, entry pattern here on the queues. Let's take a look at IWM. Old IWM has been really pretty darn sickly. Um, climbing up yesterday uh, toward this resistance level. Keep in mind that price resistance in this chart, we have this downtrend going on and this downtrend is actually a full-on downtrend. We don't have that higher low here like we do in the Dow. So we'll want to watch this closely. Now, we are gapping up this morning here and we're gapping up toward this next resistance level or this right here. That resistance is what we have to watch. We're going to be still below that this morning. So watch that closely at resistance. If those buyers happen to come in and really push us higher, that would be awesome. But um, we also have to remember that the bears are not likely to give up that easily. So watch it close. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX yesterday was kind of both sides um started up and then turned around and came back down as we started to climb toward the end of the day yesterday um looking pretty good here nothing wrong um here in this chart at all uh, as a matter of fact a failure at this resistance level is actually very positive for the market and if that continues to push down and i would expect it will move sharply lower this morning um on this gap up um so Anything down in here is kind of the safe zone uh, for us um, on the market. Just watch that in case that gap up meets some sellers and um, starts pushing down. That might bring a little fear into the market. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is a four week new high, new low ratio. Nothing special about this indicator other than it just really is effective when we reach up here into the high levels and the low levels. When we're kind of bouncing around here in the middle, not so much. Now this morning we're gonna get a significant gap up. That may move this index all the way up into here. So we'll wanna watch that closely as we reach that reversal zone up here doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to uh, immediately going to turn around but that gap up a substantial gap up here is going to move us back up here into that area where a little bit of caution needs to be played it's just all it's doing is really telling us that there's resistance up there and we'll want to keep an eye on it but keep in mind that this also tells us that there's plenty of room for a downside move so watch that close this morning um, no reversals um, suggested at, at, at this point. Um, we'll just have to watch it as we move up there toward those price resistance levels in the chart. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Now, our economic calendar today has a couple things that we want to pay attention to. We have personal incomes and outlays here at 830 this morning. Obviously, that could move the market around a little bit particularly if we see some bad news in there. Not expecting that, but um, we want to pay attention to those uh, big reports like that. And then uh, probably the next thing is this new home sales. Now, interest rates have been falling. That may have um, provided a little help here in new home sales. We'll want to watch that one pretty closely. New home sales has been a little bit problematic. Um, so, um, watch that one closely here at 10 o'clock. We also have the Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment today. We have another parade of Fed speakers today, as you can see on the calendar. So three more Fed speakers today. So quite a little bit on a Friday economic calendar. We'll want to watch some of those big reports. Make sure that doesn't affect us overall in the market. Let's take a peek here. At the earnings calendar, earnings calendar, we have over 60 companies reporting. Uh, you know, one of the things about first quarter um, earnings is they just drag out forever. And this one certainly has dragging all the way out to the end. 
of this quarter. And um, hopefully it will start to slow down soon because we're going to begin second quarter earnings here in about three weeks. So <laughs> hopefully we'll finally um, wind down this uh, dribbling out of uh, first quarter earnings. Keep in mind, we have a couple things uh, reporting today. Uh, BlackBerry, uh, one of the notables today, looks like they have reported well. You can see BlackBerry gapping up this morning after this pullback looking pretty strong here the, uh, this morning on their earnings report. And then KMX, KMX is another reporting this morning and you can see KMX looks like it's received a, a nice earnings report gapping up this morning. So um, nice moves, some good feelings this morning. Everything seems to be coming up roses for the moment. Let's just make sure we are careful not to chase. Also, just a, a simple concept here, gaps. Uh, we like to say in hit run candlesticks and right way options that gaps are gifts and if you haven't taken any profits this week it may be a really really good time to be thinking about taking some of those profits this morning uh, putting some money in the bank remember if you're going to be a full-time trader if you're going to be successful at trading you have to get comfortable with taking profits and you need to take those profits consistently and regularly. Um, otherwise, how do you pay your bills? Um, the bills come every month. You need to be making money every month. So um, watch uh, gap ups like this. They can be awesome times to take profits and head to the bank. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more than that, I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Um, and if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that thumbs up button. And, and, and when you do that, there's a little pop-up that comes up. Make sure you click that bell icon. Um, that makes sure that you get notified every time I put out one of these videos. Um, um, I want to say thank you to everyone who continues to click those thumbs up and, and leave those comments. It really helps a lot. You guys are directly responsible for the growth of this channel by doing that. And I thank you so much um, for all of those nice comments. You guys are um, you guys are the best. I, I truly, truly care about you because um, the goal of this channel was to help other traders do a better job with their trading. And um, we're getting that, that nice response right now. So thank you everyone who participates. And um, I appreciate that. Also, please feel free to share this video with any friends or family. Click, click on that share button and send that off onto Facebook and Twitter or, or any place else. Um, that helps a lot as well. Everyone, let's take a look at a few stocks that might be setting up. Looking pretty decently um, let's take a look at Nvidia Nvidia a nice little tight consolidation here right in this level of price support price resistance trying to decide which way it wants to go now this morning we have a good bullish move going on here in the market possible we could see nvidia respond positively to that so kind of keep an eye on this but don't be too surprised if nvidia still has to move sideways over here move over to its trend before it really gets that opportunity to move higher so kind of keep an eye on it but it's one for your watch list take a look at apple apple nice little resting pullback here a very controlled pullback I like it pulling back to this trend and looking pretty darn strong here in its trend. So watch this in here for a potential entry. You can see I've got price alerts on this chart waiting for that trade to come along. Another great looking chart that popped up yesterday was Cree. Take a look at, whoops, doggone it. I am on a two day chart. Just a second, we gotta go back real quickly. Um, Nvidia, there's the daily chart. Um, there's that little consolidation. I don't know how I, I just touched a button and went to a two day. Um, 
watch this really closely as that pushes higher. Take a look um, uh, real quickly again at Apple. There's that better setup, that nice little pullback. A couple little doji candles in here watching for that uh, pattern. Cree, Cree, beautiful pop up here yesterday. Nice little hammer follow through. If we can break through this area right here, Cree looks really good to me. A nice opportunity to continue on in this trend, one to really pay attention to. Um, take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot setting up a beautiful cup and handle pattern. And here's our cup, if you've never seen that pattern. Here's a cup and here's our handle being formed. So as that handle continues to form, this nice consolidation in here, we're gonna wanna watch this. If this happens to finally pop through there, um, I would suggest a, a possible move up into this area if that would occur. So watch Home Depot, a nice looking chart uh, there to pay attention to. Um, also, take a look at EA. Now, EA um, has pulled back and just struggling here on this trend, but you can see EA had a nice inside day yesterday and may actually move higher here uh, soon. So keep an eye. Nice little pullback. Let's see if that can pop on through and, and move on up at EA might be one to pay attention to. And uh, last but not least, I'm gonna mention uh, JD. Um, any of these um, stocks um, like JD, Baba, those kind of stocks that have a, uh, a heavy Chinese influence, um, these stocks are looking good and you can see JD gapping up this morning, looking pretty darn nice here um, this morning. Uh, so one to keep an eye on, JD, Baba, those kind of stocks. You might wait, even want to take a look at uh, Momo. Momo, um, really nice little consolidating move over here to trend, could be setting up. So watch that chart. Everyone take care of yourselves and have a great, great weekend. I want to wish you all the best today as well and if this is the first time you've seen these videos make sure and do me a favor and click that subscribe button and and click that thumbs up button I truly appreciate that um, if you're struggling as a trader I know that this has been a really frustrating market particularly this week with such insipid price action and really um, just really kind of uh, stuck uh, I guess is one of the better words, just stuck and been a little bit frustrating. But if, um, if you're struggling as a trader, I want to encourage you not to give up there. Trading is one of those tough businesses that you have to get past that emotional part of it and really get into um, that entrepreneur mode, that business mode, because trading is a business just like any other. So keep up the hard work. It is definitely worth the effort. And I want to wish you all the best success. Uh, keep up that work because uh, trust me, it's worth it. Everyone, take care of yourself. Have an awesome weekend. We'll talk to you bright and early Monday morning. Take care now.